Yo guys, welcome back to another video. Today is episode 3 of none other than the 3 volume rule. Um, we haven't done one of these in a while, and originally when I did started this series, it was something that we were going to do more often, but it just hasn't been like that. Luckily though, um, over the last couple of months, I've been uh, collecting a lot of series that we are going to cover here on 3 volume rule. Uh, so there are plenty of episodes to come, uh, so stay tuned for those if you're interested. But today, we are covering um, a series called Owl Horror Ride. This was recommended to me by plenty of people. Um, the biggest Owl Horror Ride, I guess, patron uh, would be an uh, online friend of mine, Enrico. If he's watching, he knows who he is. Uh, he is the Al Haru Ride expert. And um, on over on Chase of the Dark Sages server, a while ago actually, he sort of, sort of started an Al Haru cult. Uh, just getting everybody to read it. And it was a whole thing. So, me, I decided to get in on it. It's something that you guys know that I like a good romance uh, in my media. But... I can't really get into a lot of romance series when that's like the main focus because either it's like kind of lame to me or it's like too slow and it's just like I don't really care but I want to I've just made it my mission to um try and find a good series that works well with me and I like it uh, and I enjoy it well you know being a romance series and this series I actually have it behind me right here it's actually pretty good um, it is a shoujo beat series so I guess it's my first shoujo that I've ever collected or really read to be honest and um, yeah I was actually pleasantly surprised by how much I did enjoy this um, and yeah I'll give you guys my review here in just a second now before I do, you know, get into like the review, I guess I'll give you guys a synopsis of what exactly this series is about. Um, and bear with me, it's been a couple of weeks since I read this. And again, it was only three volumes. So the character names, I'm not exactly remembering right now, but it might come back to me. Um, I don't really remember any of the characters' names. I just remember what happens. So the story starts and we have our main character here, Again, name, I don't remember. Oh, it's on the back. Futaba. Um, yeah, main character. She's like in middle school and she has a crush on this dude who's like super shy and quiet. And he's a good dude. Uh, through a series of events, uh, they end up kind of figuring out that they like each other. And he, you know, tells her to meet him at this one spot one evening. And then later in the day she accidentally says something like she doesn't like any boys because they're mean or whatever and so he overhears that and she thinks that oh no you know now he's not gonna like me so she goes to the spot that evening where he said to meet her and he never shows up so th she thinks that she ruined it for herself with this guy that she likes and then like the next time they go to school the guy doesn't ever show up and then they find out that he transferred and that he's not coming back and um so yeah she thinks that she just ruined it and this was like the one guy that she actually liked because she doesn't like any of the other dudes and this guy actually liked her back but then you know he's gone so she thinks that she just screwed everything up uh we get we go further um flash forward she's now in high school i think i don't know what year of high school she's in she might be a freshman um, and there's this dude that comes to the school, he's a new student, and he looks just like her, um, previous crush, and, but this dude just has a different name, come to find out, it's the same dude, he just changed his name when his parents got a divorce, and, um, you know, that was sort of the reason why he had left in the first place, was because he had a bunch of family stuff going on. But the problem is that she still has feelings for this dude and he doesn't really have feelings for her except 
he actually does and that's sort of like the whole thing is that they both have feelings for each other and can't really like communicate it too well because of one thing or another um but this dude is a way different than he once was in like i guess the year or two that they've been apart he has changed a lot and so i guess the story really is about our main character trying to figure out what happened to him in those couple of years that changed him and made him kind of a douche now he's still caring in some ways but he's just cold and not as sweet and lovable as he once was um so yeah she's just trying to figure out what happened to him and yeah hopefully by the end she'll get with him now as for my review um yeah like i said i actually quite enjoyed the first three volumes volume three kind of left off on a crazy cliffhanger um which i'll get into probably here in a minute uh yeah what makes this series interesting to me uh is firstly main character is a female this is a shoujo series so it's sort of like an interesting point of view um like i don't know it's just not the same like oh high school dude has a crush on this girl it's about a girl you know and she's trying to get through to this guy and me as a dude it's just an interesting spin for me i'm sure for a lot of female readers that this would just be kind of basic but like i don't know to me it's interesting and i don't know i i can't really think of what i'm trying to say at the moment but i'm sure you guys know what i'm talking about um also one of the themes in this series that i actually quite like has to do with like finding real friends um in the story our main character she hangs out with this group of girls who are they're like not good they're like if you've ever seen the movie mean girls they're like them you know uh, just not great people uh, and she really only hangs out with these people because nobody else well something had happened i can't exactly remember what it was but in middle school something had happened and then that i think it was like because of like a clique of girls said something bad about her and then everybody hated her and then she became like a social outcast that was something that happened so when high school started up she kind of got a bit of a fresh start and so she really didn't have any friends and sort of just joined a group of people uh, who accepted her um you know and allowed her to hang out with them not really caring that they weren't the greatest people just you know she wanted friends and how good of people they were didn't matter to her as long as they would you know be around her i guess um and we see throughout the story uh, at least in these first three volumes she grows more confident in herself and realizes that what these people do it's not great uh they're not good people and so she finds real friends uh, makes real relationships and sort of is like it lets it be known to these bad people like you guys suck and so like ditches them uh which is something that i vibe with because i've experienced that myself in the past more recently um you know just being sort of new and then joining a group of people or be becoming friends with a specific person just because you know there's really nobody else there that's like the first person that came to you um and then over time you start to realize that i really don't like this person because they're not good and then you start to make real relationships with good decent people and then you make real friends and yeah that's something that i just vibe with because of personal experience where this story gets really interesting though uh and sort of like sets up the whole drama thing you know where it's like ooh, this is getting spicy uh is where in the story we're introduced to a new character who becomes one of uh main character's best friends she is also like a social outcast and that's sort of why and she's made fun of uh which is why uh the main character becomes friends with her and ditches the people her other friends who were making fun of her because she's like that's not cool so she becomes friends with this girl they hit it off and they're good friends and then again through some events she ends up this other girl ends up liking the same dude as her 
and it's it creates like this whole drama between them but then spoiler alert they kind of end up like agreeing that you know we're still going to be friends but like whoever gets them gets them sort of thing and we're not going to be mad at each other you know we're both going to try our best to achieve the goal that we want uh and not going to let it get between us and so that happens and then the end of volume three again three volume rule i didn't read further than that something happens at the end and then it's like oh crap you know what just happened and it's one of those moments I, i'm not really going to elaborate here um just because if you want to know go read it that's not really the point of this video um but yeah really interesting stuff and you can tell that in volumes two or volume two and then into volume three that's where the actual like drama part starts to pick up um so yeah i'm getting really invested into what's happening the first volume just sort of lays the basis and then vol the latter half of volume two and again volume three that's where it starts to get good and yeah so overall our horror ride is pretty solid uh for a shoujo series uh, for a romance series like i tried reading wotakoi that was like the first romance manga that i had ever read uh, and i did a whole valentine's day special review on it and i really enjoyed it for the most part but it was overall pretty weak because of i think i may have talked it up a little bit more in the video than i probably should have and like my review it was honestly kind of mid um and i mean it was good i liked the idea of it but it was just not something that i would continue to read because of how episodic it is there's no like it felt like there was no mistakes at all and it was just kind of like friends doing friend stuff and i was like i don't i don't really care there wasn't enough drama to keep me invested this series has got that um which is why I think I mean, am going to stick with this series, and this could go down as a romance series that I end up really enjoying. It is a uh, finished series, too, with 13 volumes, so it's not actually a big investment to collect or read, um, because, again, not a lot. Um, and yeah, but the problem I have with um, my three-volume rule videos is that when I cover a series... Uh, that's already like finished or has like a lot of volumes out if I don't collect the rest of the series soon after I read them then I'm kind of gonna forget about it and not want to read it anymore um, even though I do really like the series my priorities change uh, if I don't start picking it up again and reading it so after I make this video how hard to write I think is gonna become a bit of a priority series for my pickups and I'm gonna be picking it up and then read it through um, and then probably do a review on the series when I finish it. So yes, this does pass the three volume rule, good series. And if you're looking for, you know, a drama romance sort of thing, definitely give this a shot. Um, really a change of pace for me, because again, still not super used to this kind of stuff, but really enjoyed it, so yeah. Anyways, that's going to be about it for my review. I hope you guys did enjoy, and if you did, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already, because I would greatly appreciate it, as we are getting super close to 200 subs, and of course, I want to hit that goal by the end of the year, um, so if you guys could do that for me, that would be dope, and yeah, let me know in the comments what you guys think, if you have any other romance series that you think I would enjoy, because... It's something that I would like to explore. Um, so yeah, reach out and uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.